Okay. As you said, these are the four steps to create a particular website, Ravi. We are done with the first step, that is pages. We have created the pages. Now, once the pages is done, the second step is menu. But what did I tell you in yesterday's class? You can't find the menu directly under appearance. Before, it was available directly. But as of now, it's not available directly. So how can I make sure that menu appears over here? To do that, what should I do? So we should go to the themes first. Exactly. You should go to the themes first. And previously, always remember... Previously, always, it was... Uh, yeah, yeah. Menu was appearing uh, directly. Yeah, yeah. And right. Since last few months, it is... Yeah. Uh, it's almost a year now. Okay. And one more thing. Always maintain two tabs. One tab, do everything. Customization, installing, activating, changes and everything. In the other tab, just click on refresh button and see how your website is appearing. All right. Now again, themes and then add new. Pages add new. Themes also add new. And whatever you are able to see over here are the installed themes. That means my previous student has installed all these themes. So that is the reason you are able to see the themes which she has installed. So in case you have installed any theme in your website, you will be able to see it over here. You want to install and activate any new theme, you have to click on add new theme. So in today's class, we will use some other theme called education hub. It is also basic theme. This week, we will spend time on basic themes itself. Later, we'll go on to advanced. So yesterday, we have selected Minami's theme and today we are using Education Hub theme. And why am I only going with these themes out of 5,000 themes is because these themes have better options, which you will understand WordPress in a better manner. That is the reason I'm using this theme. So Education Hub, always install the particular theme, then you have to activate the theme. So here this theme is already installed. So I'm activating it. Unless and until you activate the theme, you will not be able to see that these options are under appearance. So installation and activation, both is important. Done. So first step is done and third step is done. Now I need to arrange my pages in a particular order. That is no, no. How can I do that, Ravi? Arrange the pages, no? Yeah. Okay. That is menu. How can we arrange menu? How can we create menu? First step is done. Third step is done. That is the reason we are able to see the menu over here. Now we have to go back to second step, right? That is arranging the pages in a yeah. order. Okay, we have to go back to the again menu. Exactly. Then after this, what do we need to do? Can I, can I directly add these pages or should I do something else? Directly, we can't add the pages. We can. We should add it here first. We have to give the name first. For our particular menu, we have to give the name, right? In a studies class, also I said, you can give your name, maybe CXYZ, anything you can give. And this name will only be visible to the person who has logged into your website. That means if you are the owner of the website, only you can see this name. So you can give any random thing over here. So give your menu name. Then once you have given your menu name, just click on create menu. The moment you have clicked on create menu, all the pages over here will be activated. So whichever page you want to arrange like a menu, you have to add all those pages to the menu. Just remove the sample page. Don't add sample page. Add it to the menu. Now, are they arranged in a particular order or should I arrange them in a particular order? You should arrange in a particular order. So drag and then drop. Are they arranged in the right order, Ravi? Oh, uh, no. No. So you need to drag and drop them, right? Like mm -hmm. sub items. Then these things will become the sub pages. This is a main page. Under main page, my sub pages. So done. So first three steps are done. Now what is the fourth step? Fourth step is nothing but customization. Changes according to our own understanding is known as customization. So for that, again, under appearance only, you can see an option called customize. Just click on customize option over here. And yesterday, if you observe, we have seen Minami's theme dashboard. Today, you will see education hub theme dashboard. Every theme has its own dashboard. And there might be few options in Minami's. Like in Minami's, there was slider, there was featured images and all these things. But just observe this theme. This theme is completely different. 
minimize is one of the easiest theme out of all the themes so everything was given to us in in all the other themes everything will not be there we have to create from scratch so lot of hard work we need to do it over here now before we do the customization part are are my pages arranged in the right order is my menu correct or should i do, do something else again we have to do because uh, twice it is there yes. yes so you can see yesterday we have seen activity theme that is minimize and minimize dashboard today we are seeing education hub dashboard so as you said just go to the menus view all locations then you can select primary menu over here and here you can select it as first so now my pages will be arranged in a particular order then you can select footer menu over here in case you want in a footer then you can select footer it's not required to be in the footer but you can just select it then here there is something called quick links if you observe you want to arrange quick links and all you can just uh, arrange in quick links all these things you can just do it but all these things are not required it's up to your understanding in case you want to do it do it otherwise not required then once it is done just click on publish button do not click on into just click on back that's it so our menu is done in the right order and if you have observed ravi in yesterday's class that is in that minimize theme we have there was an option where we can add menu in the pre header also but whereas in today's theme that is education hub theme we don't have an option where we can add the menu in pre header so that is what i was telling you yesterday never ever compare two themes just because one option is there in that theme don't think why it is not there over here every theme is an individual theme all right so done now i want to give some name of the website logo tag line favicon where can i add all these things do you remember the option where we can do these things same option as yesterday that is the reason i'm asking you same okay header images no header image in the sense in case you want to add an image over here but i'm asking i want to give the name for my website i want to give some logo i want to add some favicon i want to give some tag line what is a name what is our name our name is our identity right that yeah. is how people call us so same thing over here site identity so just click on it and whichever name you would like to give whichever title you would like to give you can just give it anything you want to add logo you can add logo you want to add favicon which i have told in its place class you can also add favicon and that favicon will be appearing on the tabs over here then then again click on publish button once the identity is done then there is something called background image same like yesterday's class you want to upload some image instead of white thing plain thing uh, one image will be appearing in the background it will not look good but you can just explore these options then you want to give some background colors instead of white you can give any background colors so just uh, you can explore all these options over here then there is something called theme options same like yesterday class we have something called theme options over here let's see what is there in the header options in header options you can see by default show site title tagline obviously they are uh, checked by default you don't want to show show uh, title you can just uncheck it your title will disappear your tagline will disappear if you uncheck it so you can just do it then contact number see in minimis we this option was not there but whereas over here we can add our contact number in the pre header header in the sense this is also header only right it is pre header but still it is header only so you can add your contact number you can add your email id and here there is something called notice that is by default option of education hub theme you can add it anything else you can add important over here you can add anything whichever term you would like to add just add that term here welcome to our university here you can add it as welcome to our anything institute whichever thing you would like to add just add that particular thing over here uh, your understanding welcome to our factory whatever it is whatever you would like to add over here not only welcome to anything you can add anything you can add in the title So anything you can do it over here. So you can give contact number, your email ID. You can give. You don't want to add this notice that is not required. If you feel it is not required, simply uncheck this option. Nothing will appear. 
No, you want to show it, then you can just show it. Otherwise, not required. Then notice URL is there. Just observe this part, Ravi. In yesterday's class, the moment you click on the drop down, I hope you remember this part. You you have selected some pages. That means when I, when someone clicks on read more button, they were redirected to about us page. When again someone clicks on SEO, they were I mean redirect uh, read more button of SEO. They were redirected to SEO page. When someone clicks on read more button of Google Ads, we have redirected them to the Google Ads page of our website. Here. That option will only be there in minimize and other few themes. But from other themes, you have to do the work from scratch. That is what I told you. You can't click on the drop down over here. Drop down is only not provided as to us over here. Then how will you redirect your audience from welcome to our institute to some other page of your website? You can't do it directly. What you should do is go to new tab, click on refresh button, observe this process. Go to new tab, click on refresh button. This is how our website is appearing. Then whichever page you would like to redirect your audience to. Now let's assume you want, your re you want to redirect your audience from welcome to our university to about us page of your website. That means when someone clicks on welcome to our university, you want them to be redirected to about us page. If you want that to be happen, you have to go to the new tab. Click on about us, then copy the about us URL of your website, come back to the old tab and paste the URL. This is a process which you should remember because only in yesterday's theme, it was very easy, but from now on, it will not be easy. You have to go to the new tab, first go to the new tab, then wherever you would like to redirect your audience to, click on services, click on about us, whatever it is, copy the URL, come back, and paste it wherever you would like to paste it. So when someone clicks on welcome to our institute, they will be redirected to about us page of our website. Is this clear, Ravi? How yeah. to redirect our audience? Clear. Yes. This will be useful for you in the further cases also. Done. So this was about education hub theme. And what did I tell you? Today's class is all about how to add the content in your basic WordPress website. In case you want to add the content in your website, how do you add it? Because in yesterday's class, we have learned all this stuff, pages, menu, theme, customers. So let me go back to the WordPress dashboard. Now let's assume I want to add some content in the home page of my website. So how can I add content in the home page? Just click on pages. And the moment you click on pages, all the pages which you have added will be visible to you. So click on a particular page, whichever page it is. I'm taking home, you can take about us, contact us, it's up to you. So just click on home. And the moment you click on home, your home page will be appearing to you. And in today's class, we are going to learn how to add content to a basic website. Don't think in advance also, this is how we do it. No, that is completely different. In a basic website, Everything is from scratch. You have to do everything from scratch. And to be honest, little bit hard work is required in basic website because you are doing everything. Now, this is the home page. I want to add content. How can I add content? To add content to any of the page of your website in a basic website, you have to use this symbol called block symbol. You can see B-L-O-C-K. This is not blog. Blog is nothing but post. This is BLOCK. We call it as a block over here. So to add content, you want to add some text, you want to add images in your website, you want to add videos, whatever it is, you want to add tables, whatever it is, you have to use the symbol for everything. So this is very important symbol to add the content. So just click on block symbol. And the moment you click on block symbol, just click on browse all and you can see everything over here. Now let's assume you want to add some paragraph in this page. Then you can just look at the preview of the paragraph. This is how your paragraph appears. You want to add some heading like Google Ads, SEO, whatever it is. You have to choose this heading block. You want to create a list in your website. That means somewhere whenever you are adding content, you want to create a list. You can't add the list directly. You have to use this block. Then only you will be able to add the list. You want to add a code in between somewhere paragraphs. Then you can use this code. Then code is there. This you will be using. Like this, your text is going to appear. 
Then again, you want to add table in your website, you can use this table. Then this is pull code, that is how it will appear. Then you are into poetry and all, and you want to add poems in your website, then you can use a blog called words. You want to add images, then this is how your images will appear. You want to add gallery. What is the difference between image and gallery? Image in the sense, one image, only one image, single. Gallery in the sense, collection of images is known as a gallery. So you want to add two or three images directly, you can use gallery. You have some audio and you want to upload the audio, you can choose this like Spotify and all. Then you want to add files, you can choose this. You want to add covers like this, that means images and on images, you can see some text, then you can choose cover. Media and text in the sense on the left side some image and on the right side some text. That is known as media and text. Media in the sense image. So image and then text on the right side. Sometimes you might have seen in some websites, right? Images will be there over here on the left side and here directly text will appear. That is, this is how that it will appear. Media and text is the option. Then you want to add videos. You, you have some video in your laptop and you want to upload that video in your website. You can choose video. Or you have some YouTube channel and you want to upload your YouTube videos on your website, then you can directly use this thing called YouTube. There is an option called YouTube also, where you can upload your YouTube videos. You have Twitter account and you want to show your tweets on this website, you can use Twitter. Then we know all these things are there. We do not use all these things, Flickr and all, but just for understanding, you can use all these things. And there are something called Short code. Short code we will not use today. We will be using this thing tomorrow. This is used to create a contact form in our website, which is very important thing. See, most of the things, most of the options, maybe I will not cover today, but throughout the complete course, we will be using these options. Then you want to add calendar in your website. You can choose this block. You want a separator. That means between two paragraphs, you want a line, some little bit space. Then you can use separator. You want spacer, spacer in the sense, just little bit space between two paragraphs. It is empty. You can see there is no preview. Obviously, space in the sense, random space. Then page break. This is how page break appears. You want to create buttons. If you remember in yesterday's class, we have seen the read more button was appearing directly. I told you that only in this theme, it will appear directly. But in other themes, you have to add it from scratch. So you have to design your buttons also. So to create buttons, we have to use the button block. So these are the blocks which you should use to add the content in your particular website. Is this clear Ravi, regarding the blocks? Any doubts? What are blogs and everything? I hope you got an idea what exactly is a block. Right? Yes, I got. Yes. Now let us add some content so that you will understand in a better manner. So first I'll be using this media and text option. So here I will be uploading image and on the right side, I'll be adding some text. So just click on upload button in case you have images, you can just upload any of the image. So I have uploaded some image over here. If you observe the size of this image is little bit lengthy, right? It is little bit big. Just observe this part, really. So you need to just click on that particular image. You can see the symbol over here, drag and drop it. How small you want or how large you want. According to your understanding, you can just adjust it properly. You want it this much, just keep it this much. You want it little bit bigger, then you can just extend it little bit bigger. So I have added my media. Once the media is added, you have to add little bit text over here, right? So whatever the text you would like to add, you can just add that text over here. As of now, I don't have text with me. Let me take it from Google. But you should add your own text. Never ever copy the content from someone else. What is... I'm searching randomly, but you can, you should add your own text. All right. So I'm just taking this text over here, Ravi. 
random text. So let me. Okay, so I have taken this text. And one more thing, you should never ever copy the content from someone's else website. Always try to make your own content by doing lots of research. Now let's assume in case you are copying it, you should never do that. But in case you are doing it, don't directly copy the content like this. Don't do it. Because here, sometimes links will be there. Here, there is no link, but sometimes links will be there in the content. See, here, it is a link. It is clickable text. If I click on this, I will be redirected to somewhere else. If you copy the content directly and if you are pasting in the website, this link also will be copied. So, when someone is clicking on your website also, they will be redirected to somewhere else. So, that is the reason in case, in some situations, in case you are copying the content, always add it to the notepad first or somewhere else. Then copy the content from notepad and paste it in your website. This is one of the good way. So links and all will not be copied. So I've added some content over here. Here we have added image and here we have added content. Now, on the right side, if you observe, there is something called page and block. All right, sometimes this thing will not appear in your website. Now there is nothing over here on the right side, nothing is appearing. Then how can I change the text? How can I increase the size of the text? If I want to do this, that should be appearing to me. But as of now, it is not appearing. So in case, in some rare scenario, scenarios, whenever it is not appearing, just click on this gear button over here, the settings button. The moment you click on settings, these things will be activated. All right. Now, as of now, this is some random text and it is some light black color or something like that. You want to change the color of the text just click on te text and you can change the color of the text see because before it was this color i guess yeah before it was this color gray color but as of now i'll change it to the black color so whichever colors you would like to change them into you can change you want to add some background background for this text then you can also add some background for this text whichever background you would like to add just add that particular background according to your understanding you don't want any background just keep it white then size of the text, you want to make it small, then it will become small. You want to make it medium, then it will become medium. Large okay. Excel, you can choose according to your understanding, but just choose the size of that particular text. So this is how you need to edit the content. First, add the images, then add the text. This is how you need to edit the content. Then, now let's assume you want to highlight this term called digital marketing. What you need to do, you have to just select that term called digital marketing and everywhere this thing will appear to you, Ravi. Don't think how is this appearing. The moment you are adding content, this thing will appear to you directly. So select whichever word you want to make it to bolds and just click on B symbol over here. So now my digital marketing is getting highlighted. So now you link as you want to highlight your SEO. Then again, select SEO and click on bold. It will become bold. Now, you want this social media to be italic. Select social media and make it as italic. So, according to a, your understanding, just add the content. All right. Is this part clear, Ravi? How to add the content? Yes, and how yes. to make bolds, how to give colors, background colors, done. Now, there is one more symbol called link symbol over here. Again, this is one more important symbol which we'll be using uh, in all the classes, to be honest. Now, link symbol is same like your URL option, which I have shown for that uh, notice thing. Now, let's assume when someone is clicking on digital marketing or any other word, let us take any other word, okay? So, let's assume when someone is clicking on search engines, when someone is clicking on search engines, you want them to be redirected to the services page of your website. So first, go to the services page of your website on a new tab, copy the URL, come back over here, select the word for which you want to give the link, then select the link symbol and paste the URL. Select the link symbol and paste the URL. 
once you have pasted the url you can see please enter to add this thing just click on click on enter button on your keypad just click on enter so now you can see blue color over here links will be appearing in according to the theme this theme is white and blue right so in blue color it is appearing if your theme is pink color then in pink color like that it will be appearing so here when someone clicks on search engines they will be redirected to the services page of that particular website same thing over here this is also link how i have given link for services so what is that how i have given link for search engines the same way they have given link for this 77 percent of customers that is how you will be able to see these blue things over here you might have seen it n number of times but these things are known as links. The moment I click on this, I will be redirected to somewhere else. That is how the links work. In case you want to redirect your audience from one page to another page, then you need to give the links. So for whichever text you would like to give the link, just select that and you have to click on link symbol. Is this part clear how to give the links? Clear. Done. Now we have added in media and text done. But we need to add little bit more content, right? Only this much we can't keep it as a page. So click on enter button. Again, click on enter button. And the moment you click on enter button. Yeah, the moment you click on enter button, again, your block symbol will appear to you. Everywhere you have to use block. Everywhere you have to use block. So just click on block symbol. Again, select what you want to add. Now let's assume you want to add only paragraph. Then select only paragraph over here. Directly you can't add anything else. For everything you have to select block. For images, for video, for text, for everything you have to select block. I want to add paragraph so I've selected the block called paragraph. So again you have to add the content. Now whatever content you would like to add just add that particular content over there. So for each and everything please select the blocks. That is how we will be able to add the content now let's assume i want to add this here as of now links are not there but that is the reason i'm copying directly but please don't copy directly if links are available so i've added some content over here now i want to change the color of this text ravi how can i change it you wanted to change the color of the text yes right? yes okay sidebar sidebar okay here text, text option text, text is option yeah. there just click on somewhere over here and then text option is available and whichever text you would like Blur. to change to now you want to change this text again click on this then again change it wherever you would like to click just click on it and change it you want to give background color you can give any background color also so just click on it and give the background colors and perfect then I want to make something as bold. I want to make the term called marketing as bold. How can I make it? Select I the term. Select the term. Mm -hmm. Or afterwards? After that, go to that uh, about yeah. bold. Bold symbol. And then make it as bold. If you want to give the links, you have to choose a link symbol. Go to the new tab. First copy the URL. Then choose it. Again, click on enter button. Block symbol is appearing. Again, you have to select block. Now, this time, let's assume you want to add image, normal image you want to add. Here it was media and text, both image and text. Now, I want to add only one image. So, I have to click on image option over here. Then, whichever image you would like to add, just upload that particular image. As of now, I'm adding the same image. Let's not waste time. You can add any image directly. Yes, we have added the image over here. Then you want to increase the size, you want to decrease the size, whatever you would like to do, you can just do it. Now for this image, I want to give some link, Ravi. How can I do that? When someone clicks on this image, I want them to be redirected to the About Us page of the website. How can I do that? Not only for text, we can give links for images also, right? Sometimes you might have clicked on an image and the moment you have clicked on image, you might have been redirected to some other page of that particular website. I also want to do the same thing. Just tell me, according to this thing, according to how we have given link for search engines, same way I want to give the link for image, for this image. How can I do that? Again, again go to the next tab. Okay, next tab. Then about us. Because I want them to be redirected to the about us page. Copy the URL. Come back over here. Now, 
where Correct. is a link symbol link symbol is not appearing right? just click on the image click on whatever text it is whatever image it is whatever the content you are adding you have to just click on it then all these things will be appearing to you then okay. choose the link option link option and paste the url so when someone clicks on this thing when someone clicks on our image they will be redirected to the about us page of our website all right is it clear ravi clear done now let's assume you want to add gallery that is collection of images and again select gallery upload that means in one go you are adding two or three images that means more than two images you are adding so for that you can directly select the images instead of one one image instead of wasting time just select random images and you will be able to add it see i am selecting these three images drag and drop them you have to drag and drop just select it i am selecting three images then click on enter button all the three images are added directly that is the beauty of gallery in one go you will be able to add collection of images so that is about gallery then again what options are there list option is there right list in the sense like like this just you can look at the preview in case you want to add some list here also we have seen some list this how is this added this is not added directly you have to use a list option then only you will be able to add it so you have to use it list option then the moment you have selected list the list has appeared to us then you can add anything whatever you would like to add just add it again click on enter button again the bullets are appearing to us over here right? so again add it whatever you would like to add it this is how you need to add the list in your website in case you are describing about something and and again same thing you want to give colors and all you can just give it then again click on block symbol now here see by mistake i have added this here i have given some space how can i delete this ravi i have done some mistake over here i want and i want to delete this block not every time we will add correct content right sometimes we do mistakes then how can i delete something i don't want this as of now i have done some mistake in case you want to delete something just click on three dots over here that is option symbol and then click on blast option which you are able to see that is remove list item if you want to remove paragraph then last paragraph will be there now let's assume you want to remove the paragraph over here you feel this you have added by mistake then again click on three dots then you can see remove paragraph you want to remove this image again three dots select the image then you can see at last remove image option will be available so whatever is the last option you have to select that last option that is how you need to delete the content in case you have added it by mistake all right then again there are few more options let us just explore them then you want some now let's assume you want to give some space then just select the separator you can select just select separator then you can see this is a separator a small line that is known as separator nothing much to it just a line between two paragraphs is known as a separator so that is my separator then again we want to use any other block you want to add some more content again click on browse all then whatever you would like to add you can add it now let's assume you want to add some uh what you want to add now let's assume we want to add a youtube video over here let you have a youtube video and you want to upload your youtube video uh, i can add a demo video over here right so what i can do just click on youtube over here and you can see enter url how can i add my youtube video over here ravi i have selected youtube and here they are asking me to paste the url that means which url should i paste over here just a wild guess tell me which url how can i show my youtube video on my website okay this is my uh, youtube my hmm. ravi.digital that url no 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 what i am asking is let's assume you have youtube channel 
let's assume you have youtube channel and you have uploaded few you videos on your youtube oh. and you want to show the same video whichever is there on youtube you want to show that video on your website now i provide digital marketing training right so i can share my digital marketing demo over here so when someone visit someone visits my website they will directly see my demo right and once they have seen my demo if they like it they can join the course am i right instead of not everybody will be going to my youtube channel right some people might go some people might not go but if someone is visiting my website and if i am uploading my youtube video over here directly they can visit that particular video and if they like it if they are comfortable they can join the course so that is much more easier so in case you have a youtube channel and you want to show one of your videos on your website just go to your youtube channel and whichever video you would like to upload now let's assume you want to show this particular video now let's assume i want to show this video on my website just click on that video just click on your video copy the url from your youtube everywhere the same logic everywhere it repeats and come back over here and click on embed your youtube video will be appearing over here see the same thing right same thumbnail whatever you have seen over here the same thing is appearing to me over here also in my website so directly when someone clicks over here they will be able to watch that video and in case they like it they will be joining the course right not everybody will be visiting our youtube channel right most people will not be aware of it so in case you are adding it to the website it will be easy for you did you understand this point ravi why am i adding youtube video to uh, the upload uh, the videos of content yeah not every video you should not upload every video on website A anything important yeah anything okay. important anything important regarding It's your they can any any customer can redirect by seeing this yes perfect Getting perfect correct correct because i provide training i have uploaded demo if you are doing something else then you can just talk about your business in one or two minutes and upload that video on youtube and upload it over here otherwise you can just upload any random video from your laptop also but that will take lots of time it will take around 10 15 minutes that is the reason i'm not uploading in case you want to upload any video from your laptop now this video was uploaded on youtube that is the reason i have applied it over here but let's assume there is a video in your laptop any random video in your laptop and you want to upload it on your youtube then you have to select the video symbol over here just select the video then upload how we upload the images in the same way you have to upload the videos also all right then again as of now i want to delete it so i'm just clicking on three dots and remove video then now let's assume you want to create buttons like create more button learn more button and all again add block browse all search for buttons otherwise you can directly type buttons over here in the search bar and button is available to us then you have to add the text over here whichever text you would like to add just add the text you want to add something like uh, read more then add read more you want to add learn more or you want to add apply now whatever it is you can just add it over here so whatever text you would like to add just add it over here then you want to make it bold just select it completely and make them bold make them italics then for every button for every button of your website you have to give the link otherwise there is no meaning to the button people will be clicking on the buttons so be careful always give the links for the buttons never ever forget to give the links if you forget to give the links for any random text nothing will happen but do not forget for buttons because people will be clicking on the buttons so just click on link symbol and wherever you would like to redirect them to you want to redirect them to about us any page any random page then paste it so when someone clicks on learn more they will be redirected to the about us page of my website this is how you need to create the buttons and colors background you already know it then you want to add something poems and all you can choose this just you have to explore all these options ravi really. you need to explore them then page break option is there that is page break this is how it is you you need not do anything else if you want to apply something you can just select it like that then what else options are there these options custom html these things are advanced options we will use them later and the social icons 
Now let's assume you have some social media accounts and you want to redirect the audience when someone uh, like you have your Facebook account, you have Instagram account and you want to redirect your audience from your website to social media accounts. Then you can use the social icons over here. Just select social icons. So you can redirect your audience from which option is this? From your website to your social media accounts also. Again, in an advanced website also, you will be learning. Here, it might be a little bit difficult, but in advanced website, it is very easy. Everything will be there by default. You have to just paste the links even for social media icons and all. What else is there? navigation and all don't worry about all these things in advanced websites all these things will be covered whatever are the important options i have told you regarding all those important options then yeah in case you have your twitter and you want to show any of your twitter i mean tweets you can just select a tweet, uh, twitter account and you can also show your tweet you can also upload your tweets like how we have uploaded youtube video you can upload the tweets also so this is how you need to add the content in a particular page of your website. We have added the content in home page, but in the same way, you need to add the content in about us page, in services pages, your page, everything you have to do from scratch. First, do the proper research regarding all the things, whichever you want to add it in your website. Then, see, because this is basic WordPress website, it will look a little bit harder. I'm not telling it will be easy. No, it will be a little bit harder only. So for that, you have to first take pen and paper and first sketch it. Like first make the proper pattern where you want images, where you want text, everything you need to do it. Do a little bit of hard work for one week, for three, four days. If you do hard work, then everything will be very easy at the end. So just spend a little bit time on the dashboard, spend a little bit time on the blogs. Then only you will understand all these things, Ravi. Unless and until you spend time, you will never know how these options work. So once you have added complete content, obviously don't go directly on WordPress, click on update button. First, you have to click on update button. Otherwise, whatever the hard work you have done, that, it, that will not appear to your audience. Click on update, publish, save, whatever it is, just click on it. Then click on WordPress icon. Now we have added the content to the home page. In the same way, you have to add the content to about page, contact page, Google Ads page, SEO page. To all the pages, you need to add the content. Now let us see how is our content appearing on a new tab. Let me open our website on a new tab and check it how it is appearing. Okay. Why is my content not appearing over here, Ravi? We have added the content in home page, right? But why is the content not appearing? I think we have to go to the home page. Exactly correct. Go to appearance, customize, and you are absolutely right. You have to go to the home page setting because by default, WordPress will show your latest post. Post is nothing but blog. When there is no content in your website, WordPress will select this option. This sentence will be appearing to the audience. So you have to change it from this to a static page. And in static page, which you want to show in the home, I want to show my home page only, right? So I'm selecting home over here. So whatever the content we have added in our home page, that content will be visible to our audience regarding post page we will learn in a blogging website it's not an option which we need to use now then click on publish so you are absolutely correct now if you refresh directly your content will be appearing over here now this is how we have added the content in the home page now you can see if i click over here you can watch the youtube videos and all directly then what else here we have given some links, I guess. So when someone clicks over here, see they are getting redirected to the about us page. So that is how you need to give the links and all. Here also for search engines also, we have given the links and everything. Done. Did you get an idea of how to add the content to the website, Ravi, to a basic website? 
Yes. Yes, to a basic website. I'm stretching this word called basic because this is not how the advanced WordPress websites look, right? Mm -hmm. Those will be much more beautiful. But in the initial classes, we can't go to advanced directly. You have to do a little bit of hard work. Otherwise, that will be very easy. Done. So I hope you got an idea of how to add the content. Now we will move on to another topic that is widgets. Now, Ravi, let's assume you have purchased a new mobile phone, any brand. Uh, have you observed sometimes, like not sometimes, every time, there are few apps which are already installed in your mobile phone. Can you name few apps which are already installed in your mobile phone? Now, Instagram, all these things we have to install, right? We have to go to the Play Store and then we have to install. But the moment you have purchased new mobile phone also, there are few apps which are already there in your mobile. Have you observed? In time? Yes. yes. Which apps? Any? Can you name one or two apps? Okay, like uh, yeah. for example, uh, Calculator, oh, Play okay. Store, hmm. YouTube, YouTube, Correct. Google, Correct. YouTube, Google, Google Maps, all these things are already pre-installed in your web. A mobile phone right yes. so if there is any pre-installed option on a particular device on or on a particular website it is known as a widget that means you are not installing them you are not creating them you are not keeping it in your mobile phone but still they are there in your mobile phone such such default options or such pre-installed options are known as widgets now, what is a widget in our website? In this particular website, if you observe, on the sidebar, there is something called hello world, recent comments, something, some random content is there, which is not even related to my website. But still this content is there. Did we add this, Ravi? Did we add this? No, it was. No, uh... it was by default. So same like how YouTube is there in your mobile phone, same thing here, this content is there by default on this particular website. So these things are known as widgets. Individually, these are widgets, but where are my widgets present? My widgets are present in a sidebar. So any default option, whichever is there in your website, is known as a widget. Did you understand what exactly is a widget? Okay, widget is whichever is... Uh... Adding the content, new content, apart from that, that is called widget, right? No. Adding new content, in sense, any pre-installed option in your mobile phone or any pre-installed option on your website is known as a widget. That means you have not installed them, you have not added them, but they are present by default. Such options okay. are known as the widgets. Okay. Now, we have not added this thing, right? But still it is present. So it is known as a widget. In our mobile phone, we have not installed YouTube, we have not installed Google Maps, but still they are present on, on our website. So that is known as a widget. Did you understand, Ravi? Yes, Any pre-installed option, which you have not installed, but it is present by default, that is known as a widget, right? Yes, okay, yeah. got it. Yeah. Now, you can't keep it as it is, right? Okay, search bar might be available on your website but what is the need for us to add this reason post hello world reason comments we need not have this on our website it is not even related to the content which we have added so what you can do is you can delete these widgets and you can add your own widgets delete these widgets and add the content which you are familiar with add the content which is relevant to your website instead of adding some instead of keeping the random stuff so how can you delete these widgets and add your own widgets? To do that, again, go to your WordPress dashboard. And under WordPress dashboard, all the important options will be under appearance itself. Go to the widgets option. Under appearance, there is something called widgets. Widgets is a very small topic, but again, it's an important one. And you can see in this particular website, widgets are present on a sidebar, right? Here, on this is a sidebar. So widgets are present on a sidebar. Widgets can be present in the footer also. You can add widgets in the footer. You can add widgets on the sidebar. Wherever you would like to add it, you can just add it on the sidebar or footer. Now, how can I delete these widgets and how can I add my own widgets? For that, just click on appearance and under appearance, there is an option called widgets. And you can see there is something called primary sidebar. 
and here whatever the options you are seeing over here those options are appearing to us over here recent post hello world recent comment see whatever options are there here those the same options are appearing so delete these widgets which are pre installed i don't want them because they are not relevant to my digital marketing content so that is the reason i'm one by one you have to delete it just click on three dots and delete all the widgets whichever widgets you would like to delete just delete so now i have deleted all my widgets now what did i tell you i want to add my own widgets right i want to add my own widgets we have deleted them i have not clicked on update button that is the reason you are able to see it we have deleted them but i want to add my own stuff now how can i do that again same thing in case you know how to add the content to a particular page you also know how to add a widget just click on block symbol again same thing appears to you all the blocks will appear to you whatever you would like to add you can add that particular thing over here you want to add some image hey, i have heard, sorry yes you i was taking to again this you told that update button i missed it what is that i have deleted all the widgets right can you observe we have deleted yeah. all the widgets yeah but on a new tab my widgets are still appearing right Why oh. they are appearing? Because I have not clicked on update button. If oh. I click on update button, my widgets will not appear. That is what I was telling. Ah, oh, okay, okay, got it, got it. See now my widgets are there. Thank you. Oh, okay. just click on block symbol. Then again, you know already about blocks. How to add the content? Select whatever you would like to add. Select the image. As of now, I am going with the same image because it will be available. Oh, okay. Let me add it. Then select it. Any important stuff you have to add is in the sidebar as a widget. Don't add any random stuff. Anything important you can add. As of now, I'm adding. So just adjust the size. Then the same thing will be appearing over here. I'm clicking on update button. Go back. Click on refresh button. Your image will be appearing in the sidebar. Now let's assume you want to show the calendar on a sidebar, or you want to show your YouTube video, your demo video, or anything about your business. Again, click on. Block symbol YouTube. Go to your YouTube channel. Take any of the video, whichever video link you would like to take. Just take that particular link. Come back over here. The same thing, Ravi. In case you know how to add the content to a normal website, then you also know how to add a widget sample. So I have added YouTube videos. The same YouTube video, the shortest version of the YouTube video will be appearing on a new tab. The smallest version. Here, directly when someone is clicking over here, they can watch the video. They need not scroll down also, right? Same like that. In today's class, we have not created contact form and all, but uh, tomorrow we will create all these plugins. So you can show your contact form also over here. Like you, you can ask what is your audience name, email, phone number, what do they want from you? Everything you can ask, and that contact form you can show it over here because not everybody will have the time to scroll and search for your contact form or search for your videos so in case if there is something important those things you should add as a widget so directly it will be appearing to our audience so it will be easy for them to discover that option so such important options you should add as a widget add as a widget on a sidebar or footer is that clear ravi what you should add any random stuff don't add don't add paragraphs over here It is blunder. Don't add paragraph. Anything important, then only add it. Then you want to add a uh, calendar and all. Also, you can add. You need not do it, but in case you want to add it, you can just add. It. Then again, update. Then again, the same thing will appear. Big bar. So this is how you need to add. Not only uh, images, you can add text also. You can add list and all, but don't add paragraph. If you want to add list, just select list option and add the list. You can also add widgets in the footer also. As of now, in our footer there are no widgets. But in case you want to add widgets in the footer, just click on footer widget, footer widget. See footer. I'm selecting again plus symbol. Whichever images you want to add, you want to add list, whatever it is, just add them. Just reduce the size. Then add. You can add your services. So many things. Now. 
Now, in case I want to give the link for this, how can I give it, Pravin? I want to give the link for SEO image. Go, go to the next page. Okay. Take any page you are on, right? SEO there. Yeah. Copy that link. Come back. And link. Press there and paste. Enter. Yes. Otherwise, apply button. That's it. So you can add the widgets. So pre-installed options are known as widgets, which you have not installed. You need to delete them and click on apply button. Just add the content which is relevant to your website. Instead of adding the irrelevant content, just add the content which is relevant to your website. That is how widgets will work. Is it clear, Ravi? Clear. I think my mistake, I've added the all widgets in footer, which is one. You should remove it. Okay. In That's footer, why I think yeah, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. the page is taking very long. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Lengthy. yeah. By mistake, I've added. Just click on footer widget 2 and add the widget. Footer widget 3 and add the widget. So, I'll show you something. Don't add every widget in one thing. I have not seen it but add it in separate, separate thing. Footer widget one, footer widget two, footer widget three. Now this is one of my students' website, right? So this is known as footer widget one. This is known as footer widget two, footer widget three, footer widget four. See, this is how I told you, like you can add contact us forms and all. As of now, we didn't learn, right? How to add contact us form. We will learn tomorrow, then we can add it in the sidebar and footers also. So don't add every widget in one area. Add them separate separately in widget 2, in widget 3 and what. So here you can add one more widget, like anything, any random stuff. Then that will appear on the side. Just click on the and update button. So it will be appearing on the side. Like that, three or four widgets you can add in your filter also. Contact us forms, these things should be added to the footer and sidebar, but as of now, I'm adding some random. Suppose uh, mm. anyone visited visited my mm. website mm. and clicked on that, how we will come to know that person was visited? Mm. Someone clicked on what? Suppose I uh, logged into your website your digital. Uh -huh. I was searching all these your options. How but will you search? As a owner, okay. you will be getting it, no? I have searched. If you fill the contact us form and all, I will come to know. If contact us form, if I click on the contact us form, mm. then only you will come to know. Yes. Otherwise, it's not possible. No, no, no. I can see, I can come to know that you are visiting this so-and-so page of my website. You have gone to about us page. You have gone to services page. You have gone to contact us page. I can come to know in which age group you are or in from which city you are visiting, from which country you are visiting. Uh, as of now, what you are doing on my website. All these things I will come to know, Ravi, with the help of uh, something called analytics. There is a op topic called analytics. With that topic, what is your behavior on my website? I can come to know that. But regarding contact us forms and all, yeah, once someone fills a contact us form, directly you will come to know that someone has filled the contact us form. You need not wait until analytics and all. Analytics is an advanced topic which we'll be doing near the end of the course. But uh, contact us form, yeah, you are filling this form. The moment you fill the form, I will come to know that you have filled the form. No. I will get your details. Next second only, I will get the details. We will do this tomorrow. Live chat, contact form, how to create pop-ups, uh, how to add WhatsApp icon in your website so that someone can message you directly on WhatsApp. All these things are known as plugins. It is a very important topic. Plugins is a very important topic, which we'll be doing it in tomorrow's class. So did you understand really how to add the content? Today's class was all about content and widgets was also similar to content as well. So how to add the content? Yes, I got. Yeah. I was just yesterday you told content. No, I was mm -hmm. thinking that content we should write and keep it and publish that note. 
at them but the more or less the same only i think own creative should be there yes yes if i think so own creative on the particular topic but yes. we have to keep it ready in the desktop whatever yes. is then perfect and paste it there are few ways of cheating also but i will tell you later those things but as of now you should never ever copy the content from someone else because there is something called google advancements that means google punishments which will be learning later in case you copy the content and all but twice to me i see in many of many of us also many anyone i think majority we do copy only yes yes that will so learn if you go for a film industry yes. it is somewhere it is copied yes. that name yes. title See. theme anything yes yes content will be copied but just because someone else is copying we should not copy the content right because i'm telling you there is something called google advancements there is okay. something called panda update and what is a panda update panda update is nothing but in case you copy the content that means here and there you copy nothing will happen but continuously complete website is only copied and all what happens is now let's assume you are digital marketing trainer and you want to show your website on top of google here you want to show your website on number one position instead of appearing on first position you will appear on second page third page fourth page you will be appearing on some 70th position on that so in case you are copying the content you have to face this consequences also google will not keep quiet you will face the consequences maybe you are worth of appearing on top of google but still you might be appearing on 61st position or 62nd position so your rankings will reduce really that is the reason never ever add the content or copy the content from someone else website there is some, there are updates there are google updates this thing let's not go deeper into this because it is completely an seo topic search engine optimization but just keep it in mind if you copy the content your rankings will reduce on google and if you are doing it continuously complete website only is a copied content every time you are copying the content and there are chances that your website might be banned also so google will hit your website so just be careful it's not that serious here and there you can do that but it's better if you avoid it all right and there are few ways to copy the content also you should not directly copy the content don't think people are directly copying the content from someone's website even if it is copied content still they will copy it smartly we will learn this techniques how to copy the content smartly we will learn later all right okay so yeah. for copying also there are few techniques to copy <laughs> 